Hello everyone, Mohammed here. Today I want to introduce you to our new hover cams. Inside of each box is a hover cam, a USB cable, as well as a green placing mat in case you have trouble with your background. In addition to that, we also have carrying cases where you can fit everything inside and easily carry it, as well as a USB extender cable in case you need it. Now, let's get used to our document camera. On the back of the camera, you have uh, a USB port, and that's where you'll plug in the cable. It'll plug right in. These are a little bit different than the Elmos you might be familiar with. The Elmos connect uh, with a video cable and a power cable and a, sometimes a USB cable. Instead, this is one cable, plugs into the camera, plugs into your Chromebook, and you're good to go. On the front of the document camera or hover cam, Solo 8 Plus is five buttons. Might be a little hard to read what's exactly on them. The top button is autofocus, which will autofocus with whatever you're pointing at. Autofocus lock, where if you're constantly writing or moving and the focus is constantly changing, you can lock that focus so it just stays there. Uh, zoom in, zoom out, and invert the picture. And I'll go over those in a second when we load up the software. Now, the document camera itself swings open, and there's also another hinge towards the base, so you can really get this camera into a number of positions. The camera itself swivels up to 270 degrees, so you should be able to get whatever angle you need. In addition to that, there is a knob on the camera, and it will allow you to change from portrait to landscape orientation, and right underneath that is a switch to turn on the LED lights. Now, let me... Uh, next step is to show you how to use the document camera as a webcam in Google Meet. So in order to do that, what I'll do is share my screen so I can show you how I change the settings. Generally, sometimes, for the most part, when you plug the uh, Solo 8 Plus in, it will automatically uh, change the camera, the default camera, to the Solo 8 Plus. Sometimes it doesn't, and that's okay. We can go into the settings and change that. So I'll present my screen now. And we will plug this in. And present. Plug it in. And it automatically changed, as you can see, I'm the wrong way. So I'll just use that knob. Fantastic. Now, let's say it doesn't automatically change. Now we have an issue. And here's that autofocus where you're constantly moving. So we'll do an autofocus. And we'll do an autofocus lock, and it will lock exactly where it is. So now, three uh, three dots, bottom right corner. We click on more options, click on settings, and we have. Uh, so the uh, Solo Eight Plus does have a microphone. So if you do have an issue where you're far away from your computer's microphone, you can always click on that, and then click on uh, Hovercam Solo Eight Plus Audio. In addition to that, we can also come here and change the camera. So I have my, generally my integrated webcam is the one that I use. But now that I want to use a solo hover cam, the hover cam solo A plus, I'll click on that. My computer automatically changed. If it doesn't automatically change, you can always go into these settings and manually change them. So from here, uh, I'm using the uh, document camera as, um, as a webcam, right? And it's a, a pretty, Decent quality. It's a 13 megapixel camera. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. That way you can see this full effect. And I have background noise. I apologize. And we'll autofocus lock. Fantastic, because I'm constantly moving back and forth. I will lock that focus so it doesn't keep moving. Now, the hover cam does have an app that will load on your Chromebooks. In order to get to that app, we'll go to hovercam.com. I'm going to share my screen again, and we'll go through these steps. Okay. 
you can go to hovercam.com and from here you can click software I'll also include this link uh, at the bottom of the video so that way you don't have to search too much for it and it will be right there um, you come here click on Chrome and click on download it'll take you to the Chrome web store I already have this installed so it says launch app if you don't have it installed then you'll have to click on install it'll take a quick second to install and then from there you can launch the app now this is the hovercam solo 8 plus software and it will load the hovercam app for you now as you can see my camera automatically came up and i'll show you just in case if your camera doesn't come up how we can change that the first time you load the hovercam software uh you will um, it will ask you to save files in a specific folder. For Chromebook users, it says right here, please set Hovercam folder to your Google Drive. So if you click OK, a uh, window will pop up where you can um, select the folder. If you're using a Chromebook, your Google Drive will come up. You can create a folder and save it right there and then. So now, inside of the app, we have a few buttons at the top. So we have this pin toolbar. So let's say you don't touch anything for a little bit. The toolbar would disappear in five seconds. So three, two, one, and it's gone. If we move our mouse, toolbar comes back. Let's say you always want that toolbar. You can pin and it'll always stay there. We'll keep it here for now. Um, there is a help section, which will lead you to the Hovercam help website. In addition to that, you can exit full screen or exit the program. Now, right from your Hovercam, you can take pictures or record video. So in case you want to do this, or if you're facing a document, so we can do this. I'm actually going to move the hover cam onto my notebook here. Cool. We're facing the wrong way though. So we will spin the camera. Cool. Right here. We'll do a little autofocus and autofocus lock. Fantastic. And from here, you know, whatever, if it's notes, um, I'll get a little heart going for everyone, a little bit of love for TNAC. So some other uh, features. So from here, I can take a picture, right? So I snapped a picture, picture, and I can bring this up. It's saved in a folder on my computer. If it's saved, if you're using a Chromebook, it will save it from, uh, into your Google Drive. Uh, same thing with video. So if you want to take a video, uh, you can record videos and it'll save right to your Google Drive. If you want to pause, I'm sure some of you are familiar with this. This is the freeze button, so I can pause. And I'm moving my hands right now, and it is, um, it's the screen is frozen. And we can go back and see it's coming here. In case you need to rotate left, rotate right, mirror horizontally, mirror vertically. Uh, full screen, which we're at, and then default as well. You have your autofocus buttons here in case, uh, you know, you're either far from the camera or, you know, you would prefer to use these buttons. And then lastly, you have your controls here. So if your camera doesn't come up right away, you have, um, you click this drop down and you would select your hover camera. Mine came up right away. If yours doesn't or it uh, it might show up with your integrated camera. You just come here, select that. This resolution is important. So depending on the resolution you've set on your Chromebook or your computer, uh, this will have to match in order to fit on the screen. So right now my resolution is set to something pretty low and that's where I have it. It may not work if you have your resolution uh, mismatched with the camera. Uh, a general rule, rule of advice, um, you can just click on each one and whichever one works for you is what will be perfect. Now, some of the annotation tools. We can come here. You have your standard draw with a marker, a line, shapes, circle, erase, select, and you want to erase everything on the screen. Now, Hovercam has a number of utilities and training videos that they've been releasing, and I'm going to show you that in a second. I'm going to close out this Hovercam app, and I will load the Hovercam uh, website in one moment. Right, oh, wrong 
way. Cool. So the Hovercam website is www.hovercam.com. And from here, uh, if you click on products, document cameras, we have the Solo 8 Plus. Um, there is a button for training. Uh, they've released a number of videos uh, where you can watch. And uh, if you come here, they do have Chromebook tutorials. Um, they, it does say that they have more videos coming. Uh, they have some great examples on how to, to use this with lessons, how to integrate it. Um, and uh, is that autofocus? Will autofocus? Autofocus lock. Cool, great. Uh, again, that autofocus lock is a button you'll be using all the time especially if you're moving questions or you have any issues, uh, please make sure to, um, you know, put in a help desk request through our ticketing system at www.helpdesk.tnxschools.org. Thank you.